Today we are going to be reviewing Coty again. Now Coty claims to be the ultimate power grid of payments and for a disclaimer I am not a financial advisor. Anything I say in this video should not be taken as grounds to invest and I am an investor in Coty. I do hold Coty coin just in case there's any unintentional bias in my commentary today. But yeah we can see that Coty is a, a payment solution that essentially aims to streamline the buying with buying and crypto process. It aims and looks at scalability, simplicity, seller protections like what made PayPal so successful, cost effectiveness, effectiveness, price stability, and all stuff like that security as well. So at the core of it is the trust chain. The trust chain allows the, you know, an algorithm based on machine learning and it allows for that security to be there. And it allows for machine learning as well at the same time where the DAG structure means that transactions are low commission and allowing over 100,000 transactions per second, which is much more than this typical Visa card, which apparently Visa itself can only take around 25,000 transactions per second. So Coty is even ahead of that. There's also Coty Pay, which can process all payment types, both on and offline, including crypto and stable coins and Coty is one of the first platforms where you can indeed create your own platform uh, create your own stable coin which I think when any crypto is the world's first platform optimized for you know if it's the first assuming they're working well and hard then it's quite a good thing so we can see that Coty you know is trying to do a lot they they're trying to encompass this big broad horizon of payment solutions and let's take a look at them today today is currently Thursday and they are sitting at 36 0.2 cents and you can see that they're up 13 percent in the last um day or so over the last week they've been hovering around the high not high not um not about 0.38 and then they've had a slow downtrend which has been kind of slowly painful to watch but they bottomed out on 0.31 dollars before shooting back up today to 0.38 at its peak and now fizzling out about 0.36. So there's been a lot of price change in the last 24 hours and we can see that there is a high trading volume, meaning if you're looking to buy Coty, buy and sell orders instantly will happen because the trading volume is over $86 million. We can see that their market cap is currently sitting at $242 million, which is relatively low for what they're trying to do. Obviously, they're still in progress in trying to achieve a lot of these things and their fully diluted market cap is very was well, quite large at 725 million because their total supply of coins is only 33 percent in circulation so what is Coty? you know it's the first enterprise grade fintech platform that enables organizations to build their own payment solutions and i think everybody feels good about it because of the reason that this is probably biased towards the people that are interested in Coty that come on here. There's quite a few things that make Coty unique, assuming that the things that make it unique are going to be successful. Um, and as well, we can see that you can buy Coty on Binance and KuCoin and mainly Binance has the most liquidity. So I'd probably say if you're looking to buy it, you're probably better off doing it on Binance. And if you're looking to buy it and sign up to Binance or KuCoin even for that matter, click the link down in the description below and you can get 5% off your commission and trading fees on Binance and some, potentially some free KuCoin or some reduced fees on KuCoin when you're signing up using my links down in the description below. So if you were looking to you know, use that, then you may as well uh, do that. Now, some very big news is that I think it's quite interesting news indeed, is that the Cardano um, Investment Capital Fund invested in Coty. It was one of the first venture capitalist, venture capitalist investments the Cardano Fund made. Now, I think this was announced about six, about nine days ago. And we can see if we take a look at the price. I'm unsure how much this actually affected the price, to be honest with you. So we can see that on the 6th of April, it was announced and we can see here it was 0.38. It shot up to 0.44. So that's about a 13% increase probably around the time of the announcement. However, since then, you know, that investment announcement really didn't do much for keeping the long-term stability. It crashed, then rose, and now is currently it was crashing again and now potentially slightly rising again. I'm hoping to see the altcoin buzz come back and I pray it does because, you know, obviously as I was saying, I'm invested, but I'm no financial advisor. Please do not take anything I say as grounds to invest in this video. I'm not responsible. It's just my opinion. So on their Twitter, you can see that they're currently promoting the fact that the venture capitalist fund invested in Coty. 
and then we can scroll down and see that their partner is Simplex. Uh, they're going to be one of the first debit cards that Simplex issue out a Cotty card. Now, would I get this despite being a holder of the fact I am indeed a Cotty holder? No, probably not, because I currently have my Crypto.com card, which is where I get cash back in CRO coin every time I buy something in Tesco or something like that, 2% cash back. So unless Cotty do that, I won't be using their debit card. You can also sign up to Crypto.com using my link below and get $25 free crypto straight away, which is a very, very cool thing. You can see they had an interview with the Cardano Stefan. So if you're looking to do looking to invest in Coty, it might be worth checking it out. And I think really what's going to send Coty to the moon is that they facilitate a large amount of transactions and their but essentially their products get a lot of use. So you know Coty Pay, their payment network, their stable coins are built. And there's so many so many um, different revenue streams that would indeed help Coty grow and help the C uh, the Coty coin be in demand. For example, the Coty wallet being active if you're using a uh, Coty Pay. But equally at the same time, Coty, you know, there's are some downsides and some concerns with Coty, notably, notably from the fact that my friend Owen said their team, not sure if it's these guys on screen right now, but apparently some of their team previously have been involved in um, some sort of scandal where they got done for fraud, which is never really what you want to see. Um, uh, that was, should be fact checked. And obviously, they've risen a lot in the last few months. And you never want to. And obviously, they've risen a lot in the last few months. And you never want to chase a pump. So it's really scary seeing how they've almost gone up tenfold since the start of the year. And as I was saying, you never really want to chase a pump. Um, I got in early on, but I'm still, you know, at the start of Feb. Um, so I have rode a nice increase up, but this recent pump and dump, this recent dump did scare me. So, and as well, Cotty might fall to the ground if, you know, if their payment solution doesn't take off or if there's another payment solution like Visa enters the crypto space, they've got so much money they can just pump into it to doing something like Cotty are doing purely because of the fact that, um, that essentially they've already got such big startup capital. Cotty are on a lot of watch lists and they're currently ranked 197th in terms of crypto um, rankings. They're fairly dominant, 0.01%, which isn't too bad. And they're not on the trending tokens. They really were a while back. And I think that it, when you look at their their potential, personally, although I'm not a financial advisor, I believe there is potential there, but there's really no guarantee that it could go through the roof. There's a lot of hype about it on Twitter for example, these guys doing the falling wedges, probably the resistance lines they claim, but this this stuff never really pulls through. Half the time, people say stuff and it just collapses. Like this guy's done this sort of analysis. I mean, you know, I think if you look on Twitter to make your investment decision, it'll be very biased because it's only people who care about the stock or crypto that post. So, you know, I think there's potential because they're tracking on such a big and large field. But then again, if crypto doesn't get fully adopted and people don't want to use crypto to pay, then Cotty is going to go in the bin. So it really is a very interesting one. Let me know what you think of Cotty down in the description below uh, and comments below. I understand I'll probably upload this a few days later, but thank you so much for watching. Take care. <laughs>